Hi, this is Ken once again. Welcome to Prayer Line. Today is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Precious on today, I want you to begin to um, rethink. I want to provoke your thinking about um, your Christianity and how you perceive God. Because I realize that your perception about who God is will really influence your relationship with God. You know what? I come from Ghana, West Africa, and I'm proud to be a Ghanaian, an African. I'm glad Jesus Christ or God made me like he made me and where I came from. I don't, I'm not ashamed of that any day, any time, any moment. I'm a proud black person because god made you unique god has made me unique and god just is a master architect creating us in different ways it's it's only ignorant people who are racist and uh, look down on other people today i want to talk about the fact that growing up in africa one thing i realize is that Christianity in Africa, even though it has its own weakness or flaws, but one of the things you can't take from African believers is faith in God for the extraordinary and the miraculous. That one, you can't take it from them. When an African believes in God or is a is a Christian most of them pray a lot and also they, be, they have a lot of faith to believe God for the supernatural extraordinary wonders signs and wonders miracles so in Africa we take the word of God literally and raw the Bible says that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God so they believe or we believe in the word of God and because we come to God with simplicity of faith God steps in and performs miracles without most of Africans knowing so much about the details of how where is the historical event and because not everybody has a laptop the luxury of laptops the luxury of going to a seminary schools and they just believe jesus christ as their lord and personal savior and try to be, um, live a holy life as best as they know as they read the scriptures to please him but they have so much faith that they, they make god their everything they commit their ways to God totally and believe God for the supernatural for instance a, a scripture like man shall not live by bread alone but by every word they take it literally and believe God the Bible says that when we are praying we, we should tell the Lord God give me this day my daily bread somebody will wake up and believe God every single day for everything and because of that God is always performing signs and wonders signs and wonders in the lives of believers signs and wonders is so ordinary cripple walking the blind seeing the lame walking the deaf hearing the mute talking hiv disappearing cancer disappearing because when they go to church they will pray for hours i'm not talking about west western religion whereby you go to church for maybe an hour and 30 minutes and it is about song and then scripture reading and 30 minutes scripture no 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 when we call for an all night an all night prayer meeting in africa it is from you go 9 p.m to 6 a.m 9 p.m to 6 a.m in the morning and it's about prayer intensive prayer and fasting when Africans call for fasting, it is not the Western religion fasting whereby we are fasting and we are still eating um, everything. Oh, I'm fasting like Daniel. I'm eating vegetables and fruit. I'm fasting. I'm fasting by avoiding 
um, TV and cell phone. <laughs> Africa, when we are fasting, we are fasting. The normal fasting in Africa is usually 6 to 6. And the only thing is you drink water. But when they are serious about believing God for the miraculous, they will do three days dry fasting. No water and no food. Three days waiting upon the Lord. Sometimes they go for weeks fasting, dry fasting. And so after the, after the fasting, the miraculous signs and wonders begins to happen. Because they are believing God for the extraordinary, the miraculous. What I want to let you see the contrast between the Western Christianity and the African Christianity. One of the things I've discovered with the Western Christianity is that we analyze and we are very critical about the Word of God. Today, people, even on YouTube and all over, are, are analyzing whether the Bible is valid, the Bible is the Word of God. Africa, we don't have time for it. We believe the Bible is the Word of God. People in the Western religion are wasting their time as to whether the Holy Spirit is God, whether um, Jesus is God, whether Jesus really walked on, the, on water, whether um, God really parted the Red Sea. Is the Red Sea really a sea? Um, is it possible for God to bring down the wall of Jericho? Because they are d doubting analyzing, criticizing, and coming and reading the Bible with an analytical mindset, they are missing out in the power of God and God is not performing miracles in their lives. Because they are not going to God, reading the Bible to believe the word of God. They are reading the Bible to analyze it with a critical mindset. And you don't have to do that with God. You will never see his glory. You will never see his power. You will never see him reveal himself to you. We have a lot of people with head knowledge, but they don't really know Jesus. There are people preaching about Jesus. They don't really know Jesus. Jesus hasn't re re even revealed himself to them. They don't have an encounter with God. Because they are, they are, they are, they are philosophizing God when they read the Bible. Today I want you to contrast between African and western christianity and though we africans have some things we fall short and we have to learn from you and a lot of africans are not in depth about some things in the scriptures because they don't have access to a lot of knowledge seminaries and information about all these things we lack that but you also here lack the power the miraculous part of God. When it comes to salvation, I tell you, when somebody is saved in Africa, it's just like they are saved here. In fact, you people in Western world, their Christianity is something, if you are compared to African Christianity, it's no Christianity. Because here, people, when they are dating, they are kissing, and Africa, when they talk about holiness, it is holiness. Holiness is holiness. So I'm not talking about true salvation. When African is saved, he is saved. When you are saved here, you are saved. But I'm talking about in-depth understanding of God, which makes your life very colorful, which makes your faith in God very strengthened. In the Western world, I realize that God is not moving in the miraculous because people are critics, analyze, have analytical mindset and, and are not believing God for the supernatural. So please, I came to tell you, that God in this day and age still performs miracles. Jesus saves. Jesus gives eternal life. But he also performs miracles. But until you step out of this analytical way of questioning and doubting the word of God. You will never see the power of God. Because when you read the Bible. When Moses encountered God. And he says, what is your name? He says, my name is I am that I am. I am that I am. And one thing I can tell you about I am that I am is that God is anything you see him to be. If you don't believe God for healing, you will never receive healing. If you don't believe God for the miraculous, you will never see the miraculous aspect of him. If you don't believe God as a God who is able to make a way for you where there seems to be no way, you will never see God coming through for you. If you doubt him, you will never see him step in to change the unchangeable and do the extraordinary one thing i want you to know is that god performs miracles you guys in western world please step into 
the, the area of faith and believe God for the supernatural and you will see that God still performs miracles. That is something I've realized. Because in Africa, I realized that there was so, there's so much miracles, signs and wonders going on. And then you come here and it's like, because everything is, is at our disposal, people don't even believe God anymore for healing. Believe any God anymore, anymore for God to come in and make, bring them a breakthrough because they know that they don't even have to believe God. Their credit card will take care of it. Their doctors will take care of it. No. The government will take care of them because there are insurance that covers them, life insurance, car insurance, health insurance, every ins they are house insurance, home insurance. In Africa, we don't have Africa, we don't have those kind of insurance. What we have is the blessed assurance. Because we, we may not have money for the doctor, we believe that God has to heal us. Because we may not have money for luxury, we believe that God has to make a way where there seems to be no way. We don't have insurance. We have blessed assurance in Christ Jesus. So always the miracles are happening. I came to tell you to renew your mind if you want to see the miracles. If you want to see the miracles, renew your mind. And have faith in God. And He will come through and change situation. But you have to come all out. Everything in you. Not doubting. Not having a critical mindset. Not trying to analyze God when you are reading the word. Come in with simplicity of heart. In Africa, people have just the simplicity of the gospel. And because of that, God is working miracles. I can tell you, my, there was one man of God when he started. He just read the Bible. His name is Benson in Dahosa. He just read the Bible and he realized that Jesus Christ commanded a, a dead person to rise up. He just went out about knocking at people's door, asking for a dead person. And then he began to pray, simple faith. And the dead rose up. Simplicity of faith. Simplicity of faith is what brings the miracles. Simplicity. Not complication. Not analyzing it. Not trying to discover how the walls of Jericho broke down. Was it because of the frequency of the noise? Uh, no, they, they bring scientific ideas of, of how um, things can, um, through waves, waves, waves can cause things to, so they are now doubting the power of God and they are believing that it is something else which brought the walls of Jericho down. They are analyzing and criticizing that maybe the Red Sea is not really a sea, it is a reed. It is a red, a reed, not a sea. So God could not have parted the red sea. It is, they are doubting the power of God. And so people are not sensing and seeing the miraculous hand of God in their lives. They are not seeing the power of God, the power of Jesus at work in their lives. They are doubting. Did Jesus Christ really turn water into wine? And so they, they don't see God. In Africa, God is always constantly, miraculously multiplying food for people. Miraculously raising dead. Miraculously, people who... In, in, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. In Africa, we don't have anything like an atheist, an agnostic. We don't have that kind of foolishness existing. In fact, we believe that the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Anyone who declares that there is no God, that person we know already that that person is a fool. Because the Bible says it and we believe it. As, as I told in Africa, we have simplicity of faith. We believe what the Bible says. In Africa, everybody knows that there is a deity, there is a God, an idol, or a power. But the thing is that even though we have other powers, but there is an ultimate power, that is our Lord Jesus Christ. That is our Heavenly Father. That is the Holy Spirit working in us. The ultimate power. Even witches and wizards and fetish priests and occultic groups in Africa, they know it. That there is one ultimate power, that is our Lord Jesus Christ. He's been given the name which is above every name. That at the mention of the name Jesus Christ, every knee should bow. In Africa, if somebody is worshipping an idol, they are so much committed and they have so much faith in these idols that they don't have to break their covenant or vows. Because they know that when they break a vow, the idols or these gods will strike them dead. So they don't play fool with the idols. Sometimes every month or every year they have to go and do rituals and sacrifices. Because they believe that their idols protect them, shields them. So they don't play with their idols. But we Christians here, we, we, we play with God because he's a merciful God. But you dare not play, no, you dare not play that nonsense in Africa. When you are you, you have a covenant with because they are blood thirsty 
demons. I'm not talking about the fact that we are, we, are, we serve other gods in Africa, you people in the European nations or Western religion. In fact, Socrates and Plato and um, in ancient Rome, they were worshipping of Zeus and um, a whole lot of idols. Idol worship is everywhere. Everywhere there are humanity, people are worshiping idol. In that, in this place, we have um, people in the occultic, black uh, magic, witch, woody board, uh, um, mayans, and all this astral projection. Idols worship and occultic are also in the Western world. But what I'm talking about is that in Africa, the reason why Christians have so much faith in the power of God is that is the fact that. The occultic realms, they don't deceive people and take them to hell, like in the Western world. In the Western world, the, power, the, the, the plan of the enemy is to, de de um, is to deceive many people with intellectual. Because he knows, the devil knows that people like to analyze things. And people are very scientific in the Western world. So he's not interested in taking them to heaven, uh, in t taking them to hell by killing them. He, he's taking them to hell just by their philosophies and entertainment, the music industry, the Hollywood industry, uh, love for money, love for wealth, love for fornication and adultery. It is intellectualizing things. The demons here in the Western world are deceiving masses into hell. That is the strategy. The strategy of the enemy in the Western world is deception. Deceive the masses, give them money, give them fame, give them popularity, use music, use music, um, love for power, love of wealth and affluence, and use it to draw majority, even people in Christianity, into hell. And that's why you, you see people going to church and they are hearing a watered down Christianity and oh, all is well. God loves you. You can live in sin. You can be a homosexual. You can be a gay. You can be a lesbian. God loves you. You know, it, it is okay for you to be secular and still come to church. Uh, people pre preaching, um, God loves you. God loves you like Joe Austin. And people love it. Rick Warren, people love it. The devil, his strategy in this Western world, take he has assigned his principalities and his demons. Take people in the Western world to hell by their own critical way of thinking. They like philosophizing. They like psychology and science. They like to rationalize. They want to doubt God. Atheists, they are all going to hell. You don't have to be part of the Illuminati. You don't have to be part of, of um, the Freeman Society. You don't have to be part of any occultic uh, society or group to go to hell just let them um, doubt Jesus Christ let them not believe God and even if they believe in Jesus Christ let them play hypocrisy Christianity and let's take them to hell that way so in Western religion religion it is true deception that he's taking millions of people into hell but when it comes to Africa let's kill them and sacrifice the, 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 the demons in Africa are blood testy they want to kill steal and destroy and so, if you are a Christian in Africa, you have to be filled and full of the Holy Ghost. Because you have curses and vicious satanic cycles working against you. So we have to believe God for the power of God to break satanic curses and deliver ourselves from bondages. We have witches meeting in the night conspiring and planning evil ways of killing the saint so you have to be praying and releasing the power of god to destroy every satanic or witchcraft activities that are being orchestrated to destroy your life because as i told you in africa in in haiti and in in, in some part of this uh, in the continent the occultic powers are blood testy i want you to understand this i pray god gives you understanding we have white and we have black White and black doesn't mean white, uh, white man, black, black man. No, no, no. The devil operates in two main streams in, 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 in occultic power. We have the white and we have the black. The white deals with deception. Deception. He comes in like an angel of light with information, with knowledge, with um, Mormonism, uh, Chrislam, prosperity gospel, and all these satanic... Um, new age doctrines and uh, watered down gospel, uh, universal salvation, Christlam, purpose driven church, purpose driven lifestyle, your best life now, 
you know this this we call it fight deception is what he's using to bring people into to take people into hell that is the great deception Satan's strategy for the western world in africa haiti the the the, the islands it is black black means that blood testy they are into to 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 drink your blood and eat your flesh they want to kill you in the spirit witches i'm talking about witches and wizards i'm talking about fetish priests meeting and performing rituals as to how to catch somebody and kill them you have you find somebody sadly die out of cancer oh out of diabetes out of anything because the witches they will kill you in the supernatural and it will happen in the physical so if you're a christian you have to be filled and full of the holy ghost covered by the blood of jesus christ with the angels of the lord constantly protecting you because if you are in africa and you play the white uh, the western kind of relation uh, christianity you will not uh, you will not last they will just kill you just like that that's why mostly when africans come here and they begin to uh, condition themselves like the western christianity most of them um without without knowing they begin to die with, without knowing because they don't pray as fervent as they ought to pray they don't fast as as much as they do uh, they have to fast they don't plead the blood of jesus christ and they are not allowing god's angels to be protecting them they are they begin to think and live like the western christianity and i told you western demonic spirits they are dealing with the western world, world through deception and true lies you don't need the six you don't need the 666 mark to go to hell when you are you doubt jesus christ you don't accept him as your lord and personal savior you are part of the antichrist system you're already going to hell and he has deceived millions politicians to to our schools and to everywhere you turn people are being deceived to doubt who jesus is and so he's taking them to hell that way but africans we have a different ball game it is about powers that be or cultic powers that want to kill you and affect your life and so it is a different way so when africans come here and they begin to play white man christianity oh it is to their own detriment because you have to fast you have to pray and you have to break every satanic plans of the enemy against your life and so in africa when somebody is into occultic and doesn't even believe in christ they are so faithful because they know that even these occultic powers can do some magic and things for you and when they break their covenant immediately the devil is very legalistic when you break his covenant he will take you out or he will strike you with something which will lead you to your grave and so in africa when a christian says i believe in jesus christ we believe in him for miracles for protection for deliverance for provision for everything for everything and so we see the miraculous always happening for us do you understand I just want you to know that there is a simplicity in the gospel. Believing Jesus Christ as your Savior. Believing Him that He is everything to you. And He becomes everything. Because you serve Him with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. And you depend on Him totally for everything. And you sense that He is always present. Present to help you in times of need. That is the contrast I want you to know. That you may have them. You, have, you may have a mindset of the miracles that Jesus may perform a miracle. I must go. My daughter is up. May God richly bless you. Bye.